What's, what's going on, y'all, man? It's L.A. Rich, and we back with another video, man. And look, today, we got the one and only Charlie Kirk back on the channel, man. With him doing the video titled, Charlie Kirk Debates Pro-Choice Woman, full clip. Now, let me say this, man. Uh, This, honestly, is a video that I am not 100% sure on the... Well, yeah, I am. I, I know what points that they probably going to make, man. Usually the ones that are pro-choice usually have the same type of mindset on it. But we going to see if she has a different one, man. Before we get into it, what I want to say is thank y'all so much. Help me hit 11.7 thousand subscribers. We're going to 11.8 now. I appreciate y'all so much for the love and support. Y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some videos to react to, whether it's from Charlie Kirk or anybody else, and I got y'all with it, man. But, hey, if y'all don't know, these, honestly, are my favorite type videos to react to right now, man. If I had to choose between all the videos I'm watching, these are my favorite ones to see. These debate videos, Charlie Kirk, all the other people that debate. Honestly, I'm really just watching Charlie Kirk watch the debates. But these are my favorite type of videos to react to, man. So if there's more out there you want me to see, just put it in the comments, and I got y'all with it. But, hey, enough of the talking. Let's do it. I had another question coming up here, but I really, I, the bait is there and I have to take it. Um, okay. So I am also pro-choice and I was wondering how, um, like you, you said um, to the previous dude back there that um, the government in cases where human life is at risk should step in through any means necessary, be it through mandates, be it through bans, things like that, right? Again, that was a hypothetical answer. Let me clarify it. I think the government has a moral obligation to protect innocent life when confronted with the question of someone intervening, intervening to end that life. All right. So if a police officer standing idly by and he sees someone on the side of the street and someone is going by to about to kill them, the police officer being an agent of the government has a moral right to intervene. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I do have to take like a little bit of a caveat here. So the behavior of the police officers in the Uvalde shooting was disgusting. Oh, I totally agree. Do you believe? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but guess what? I'm consistent. The cowardice that happened at Uvalde is the cowardice we allow to happen when there's a million abortions in our country every single year. All right. Okay. Okay. Which is standing idly by when children unspeakably get massacred. Uh, I don't know. I think there's a bit of a difference. And the analogy that I usually use or the question that I usually ask pro-life people is... Um, do you believe that the government should mandate organ donation, even in cases of like things like donating your kidney? Or right now we have a policy where even after death, if you know you have like religious things where you have to. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, I thought that was my goddamn um, phone. <laughs> that surprised me. Oh. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's not me. Um, you. No. <laughs> where, you know, your whole body has to be intact in order for, like, burial rights and things like that to happen. We say that you shouldn't have to donate your organs, but the pro-life case seems to extend to the idea that even people who are living should have to give up their kidneys to people in hospitals, maybe, who need kidneys. Well, I don't quite see it that way. Um, okay. but what I makes a uterus different? Well, first of all, Sorry. again, in 99.67% of the cases, the woman made a choice that could potentially... But what about those 0.4%? What do you think should happen then? Oh, I think the baby should be delivered, of course, because I'll give you an example. Let me just prove it to you. If I had two ultrasounds, and one of them was a baby conceived in rape, and one was a baby conceived in consensual sex... Well, of, of wh course. Which one is it? <laughs> I, they, they look the same. I, I do, I, I do but understand. But you can't tell because they're both human beings. Oh. And in, in Western morality, of which I'm defending tonight, doing something wrong after something evil... It's never the right thing. So do you think that government should mandate... That is a good point, though, man. Doing something wrong after something evil is never a good thing. That's a good point, bro. I, I never even really thought of that, man. You are doing something wrong in a human's life regardless of... I don't. That's such a touchy subject, man, with the abortion and everything, bro. Will y'all let me know y'all thoughts on um, abortion. After something evil... It's never the right thing. So do you think that government should mandate organ donations? No, and I think it's a false equivalency. For, so. more, for more reasons than one, for a lot of different reasons. By, by the question of do I think the, the government should come in and protect innocent life from being slaughtered, of course I do. Yes. 
And that, that's the answer. So, I mean, when it comes to mandating organ donations, I don't even see how that's applicable to the question. Because in 99.6% of the cases, 6-7% of the cases, the mother made a choice to be able to get pregnant. Now, in the very small micron kind of case, then the case is that the, the, human, the human life and the human being needs to exist. So they need to be, able to be able to exist. All right. I'm going to argue that different forms of birth control have, um, like, different forms of, like, effectiveness. And someone can, could be, like, potentially on birth control using those control methods, and it fails. Is that just a risk that, like, someone... Yeah, so I, I'm going to say something. This is, this is how far our morality has gone. We need to teach kids to save themselves for marriage. And yeah, that is a big thing, too, man. You know, honestly, that should be more pushed in this world in general. It is way too damn normalized for kids to go out here and just have sex at such a young age. And honestly, because they think it's cool, you know, and I'm not going to say, well, I was just a saint or, you know, people around me or everything like that. It, it's just, it, it was pushed through every... Um, it wasn't a normal thing growing up, man, and it, it, especially now, just everything you see out here is about sex, the music, the, honestly, advertisements, everything. You go on YouTube, I guarantee you, if a kid goes on YouTube, you are going to see an ad or something. I didn't see ads about, uh, what, what's the sex, a sex candy you know, a candy, some type of sex candy or something like that, man. Uh, or, uh, but everywhere you go, you're going to find this, man. And it's crazy to say, even on TikTok and all that, you see advertisements about these, you know, Viagra type of pills. And it's honestly insane. It's, it's wild to me, bro. It's so crazy. We need to teach kids to save themselves for marriage. And... A lot of these problems wouldn't be having, and if you do decide to engage in consensual marriage before, sex before marriage, and you get pregnant, that's the cost of the game. All right, okay. Thank you for being here, appreciate it. Right, I mean, that's what comes with it, bro. You know, you gotta always keep that in the back of your head. That is a possibility when you're doing stuff like that at a young age too, and that's when it can be worse for you. You know, being that young, because obviously you a kid still. You don't want no damn a baby at that young age. But that's what that's what's normal in America now, man. You feel me? But hey, thank y'all so much for helping me hit. We got kids raising kids out here. That's what I wanted to say too. Thank y'all so much for helping me hit eleven point seven thousand subscribers. We're up to eleven point eight now. I appreciate y'all so much for the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, that's when it comes out to be it. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And it's LA Rich, and I'm getting up out of here. All right, y'all.